our motivation was originally that we saw one particular study being done by Will Cavendish in, uh, from Oxford University uh, at the turn of the millennium um, in Zimbabwe, <clears throat> where he was uh, meticulously uh, registering uh, uh, over a full year the uh, <clears throat> different sources of household incomes, including environmental income sources. <clears throat> and that study found a, a relatively high share of environmental income, and that came to be a, a strong argument in the, in the debate, where a, <clears throat> those who are advocates of forests and, and, and the environment said, look, a, incomes can be as high as, as this. But <clears throat> many of the sort of more agricultural, development-oriented uh, economists would say, it's just a one-off study. What can you show from that? Uh, it's a particular setting. Um, so our idea was, let's have a look, uh, uh, let's clone the, this Cavendish approach and, and have a look in, in, in different parts of the world to see uh, uh, what patterns we can, we can find. Uh, so we associated ourselves with uh, PhD students at different institutions. Some of them we sought out, others came to us uh, because we could offer them a, a, a home where they could exchange you know, experiences. Uh, we offered them methodological guidance and uh, uh, <clears throat> in turn they would gather these data as a sort of uh, some socio-economic baseline data for their own study typically. They would then add data uh, of their own that, that they were using for their particular hypothesis uh, of their respective PhD studies. Um, so <clears throat> we ended up with, the, uh, 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 with uh, three dozens of sites uh, or of, uh, of, of studies uh, and, and more than 8,000 households in our database. That was much more than we had originally imagined. Um, we managed to, um, uh, in terms of the, the sample composition, we managed to get uh, people working in different parts of the rural tropics. Um, we had some gaps, for instance, in West Africa and managed to get funding from Danida uh, to, to fill some of these gaps and, and do studies uh, where we actually chose exactly the site uh, where we wanted uh, our study done. So we could ensure a, uh, a good geographical uh, distribution. Um, and we ended up, in, in our results, we ended up uh, actually confirming the uh, Cavendish hypothesis uh, um, that environmental incomes continue to be very high. People uh, even 10,000 years after the agricultural revolution started, uh, uh, people actually rely to a large degree still on foraging uh, in forests and in bushlands uh, <clears throat> and other uh, natural sources uh, from where they, uh, they can get uh, contributions to their livelihoods. Um, so I was actually surprised about how large that income share is. I would not have thought uh, that we would find uh, such a large share. But that's kind of the charm about uh, research, when you can still uh, also yourself get, get some, uh, some interesting surprises. We do hope that, uh, that we can also make a case for, uh, for the World Bank and, uh, and other institutions to uh, uh, make a forestry module in their living standard measurement service, the LSMS service. Uh, and we are actually uh, right now in a, in a project uh, with FAO, Profor uh, and other uh, partners where we are working with the World Bank to try to, to uh, use some of the pen results and other uh, research results from other groups to uh, elaborate such a forestry module. Um, so that, uh, I mean, I see our pen project very much like a bean counting exercise. We're we counting the agricultural beans and the environmental beans 
and the things that come from wage, etc., uh, so that uh, we have a more accurate accounting of, uh, of welfare sources. And, and we would like to help the World Bank and their partners in many African countries, for instance, National Bureau of, Bureaus of Statistics, to do a better job in doing this environmental bean counting. Uh, because it will contribute to a more realistic vision of the welfare that these households uh, have, but also where does it come from and what are the leverages that could, uh, that could alleviate poverty or vice versa, uh, restricted access to some of these environmental resources that could, uh, that could uh, limit their welfare.